What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Season Night, and back serving you another look. So, y'all know it's spooky season, so I came to slay. Like I told y'all, I'm gonna keep coming back again and again and again. And look, I'm back again, and I'm giving it to you the words what again. So, if you guys like this makeup look, which is giving pumpkin spice. Which is giving, you know, a pumpkin pie. Even though we don't eat pumpkin pie, we eat sweet potato pie. But you, you get the gist of what I'm saying. So if you like this makeup look, make sure before you even get to the video that you hit that subscribe button. Period. If you already subscribed to my channel, then hit the like button. If you already hit the like button, then drop your girl a comment. But y'all, without further ado, I'm going to see y'all in the video. Hey you guys, so the first thing that I'm going to start with of course is my eyebrows and I'm using my NYX Cosmetics Slim Pencil in the color Espresso. And this is something new that I'm trying so all I'm going to use this for is to outline my eyebrows because I have a new product that I've been using and so far like I totally love it. So this is actually the eyebrow gel from NYX and y'all, this it don't move. Y'all, when y'all put this on, your eyebrows gonna be on for like two days. No matter how much you scrub it, it's gonna stay on. So as you can see right there, I'm just filling in just to give my eyebrows a more fuller look. So I'm not going overboard. Y'all know how I do. I keep the front, you know, kind of faded. And that's the look that I usually go for. So after that, I'm just taking my Juvia's Place Concealer. And this is in the color 13 because my normal color 12 was sold out. But I'm going to make it do what it do regardless. So I'm just taking my flat brush, which I got from Ulta. And I am just carving out the bottom of my brows. So that I can make sure that everything is covered. And as you can see, I'm bringing it down over my lid. So that way when I start applying my eyeshadow, it's going to give it a nice even coat. So after that, I'm just taking a plain fluffy brush and I'm just going over everything that I concealed so it can kind of dry it down and make it matte. Um, so that way when I start placing my shadows, it won't move. So y'all, I'm using the Varsity Palette from the Glow Up Academy and this color lecture, y'all. This is like the perfect brown. Yo, I love lecture. Like, just look at it. So I'm just taking a small fluffy brush and I'm just filling in the outer corners of my eyes and also bringing it up into my crease not that I'm really gonna use this color for like the makeup look but I'm just kind of putting it down as a base so that I can kind of give you like that faded look kind of in the back for what I'm doing today with this pumpkin spice so y'all know what anything pumpkin spice you gotta have a little bit of brown in it so after that, I'm just, y'all looking for a brush. Y'all know I set myself up, but still can't find it. So the next color I'm taking is Honors, which is a darker brown than the color Lecture. And I'm just putting that also in the outer corners of my eyes and also bringing that up in my crease to kind of deepen um, the look that I'm going for, being that I'm gonna put a bright color over top of this. So I'm gonna make sure that the shadows and all of that stuff looks, you know, really nice and it blends flawlessly. And y'all know I'm using my P. Louise like I always do, my little trick. So recently y'all, I've been having a hard time cutting my crease. So I was watching some makeup tutorials on here and what I kinda gathered from it was to put your cut crease where you want it and pull it down so that way like you don't have like the extra product like caked up like in your line so as you can see i'm just like doing small like flicking motions to kind of cut that crease and i had a little bit of you know trouble but it didn't take me as long as it usually do to cut my crease and like I was watching a video and they was like, you know, the more you play with it, the more you just mess it up. So 
I'm just taking the same little fluffy brush that I used earlier to pat this down so I can kind of dry that out as well. And then I'm going to start placing my shadow. From the same palette, I'm using the color Schoolboy, which is a very, very, very bright orange. Y'all, and these colors are so pigmented. Again, this palette is from the Glow Up Academy. Y'all know I love my girl Kiki Adams, so shout out to her. This palette is so big, and the colors are so bright and so beautiful. I mean, like, I could use this palette like for like my next few videos. I love it so much. So as you can see, I am just packing that orange color on, and y'all know, just take a small eyeshadow brush and just tap it in, okay? After I have my eyes done, I'm just taking my NYX glitter glue. Um, so this glue is specifically for glitter. So I'm using this from the Glow Up Academy as well. And this is in the color Twitches. Per, it's perfect for Halloween. So guys, I'm using that color Twitches. And I'm just placing the glue all over my eye so that I can get a really, really nice and even application. So I have another small eyeshadow brush with nothing on it that I am just placing that glitter on my eyes. So y'all, the color Twitches, it's like this like kinda opaque orange, but it has flecks of gold in it which like really brings out the color. Um, when you're using that, you're probably definitely gonna need a base behind it. Like uh, you would have to put some orange or something behind it for you to really get like the full effect of the glitter. But y'all, I love it. It's giving what it was supposed to give. So y'all know, as I put my lashes and stuff on off camera, I'm just priming my face with this Morphe primer. I just been trying out different primers, different things, seeing how it's working for me. Um, this one, it's, it's fine. Do what it's supposed to do. So y'all know that this is my Juvia's Place foundation, and that is in the color Kampala. Y'all, I'm just waiting to get to the end of this pot so I can start using it out of the regular packaging. I mean, it kind of do work better in this, but I'm just taking a flat brush and just applying my foundation all over my face. And then I'm gonna go in with the big Kabuki brush from Juvia's Place to just even everything out. So y'all, I'm just going in back with my concealer in that color 13 again, and I'm placing it under my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, my nose, and on my chin. Basically, you just place this everywhere that you want to brighten up. These are the areas that I usually conceal for myself, and then I just take the flat brush, the same one I used for my concealer before, and just kind of spread that out under my eyes, and I kind of do it in a triangle type shape which kind of goes down towards my cheek because then I'm gonna put a darker color to do like some slight contouring because I don't really do a whole bunch of contouring because I like the way my face look. Hmm. So next I have this Juvia's Place Shadow Stick and this is in the color Zambia, which of course is clearly darker than me, but it makes, you know, just beautiful, beautiful hues for, you know, highlighting and shading. So as you can see, I'm just brushing it in and just basically like I tell y'all, when it comes to makeup, it's all about blending. Like blend, 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 blend. Okay. So I'm just taking a beauty blender and I'm just putting it everywhere that I put the concealer and just making sure that all of that is covered. And then, you know, I'm coming back in with my Sasha Buttercup powder um, to set those areas. Now, some people say they don't bake or they don't use highlighting um highlighting powder and all that stuff me it, it's a must for me i have to so my face don't start cracking so i'm just putting it basically everywhere that i put my concealer and then after this y'all know what's up the blush so i'm just using kind of like this pink and burgundy color being that my eyes are so bright i didn't want to do like super dark blush how i usually do so I'm just kind of putting that pink and um, burgundy color. So I'm just wiping off the excess powder from when I went to highlight. So I let that sit on 
for a little while. So as you can see, I'm just making sure all of that bright yellow powder is off. And I'm using my Urban Decay Afterglow um, highlighting kit, which I've had this for forever and I still haven't gotten to the bottom of it. So I really love this highlighter. And after that, I'm just taking my Morphe um, foundation and I'm just going over it to kind of even out everything. I always go over my face when I use liquid with powder. So y'all, I have Juvia's Place Black Lipstick in Dodo. Y'all know I never wear black lipstick, but it's Halloween. And you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give Morticia Adams. Morticia who? Well, it's Queen Steve's baby. So I'm just trying to be super careful. I probably should have lined my lips, but I ain't had no black lip liner because that is so 1990. But I'm just checking it out, seeing how it looks on me. And y'all, I messed up, of course, applying it. So I had to go back with my concealer. And this, guys, is the finished look. I mean, give it up for your girl. Like y'all, this is giving pumpkin spice and everything nice. So I mean, this is as spooky as I'm gonna get. So I mean, you know what I'm saying. That's about all. I ain't doing all the Halloween theatrics and all that stuff. I'm giving you glam. I'm serving you looks like I always do. Check out the black lipstick. Do you like it? This is going to actually take some getting used to for me. But y'all know I am about to head out. So make sure you guys enjoy your day. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, get the video a thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.